This is the Arkansas Standard Achievement Test. The most powerful achievement test in the world. So powerful, I reckon it can blow your minds clean away. Now the question is, do you feel lucky? Well, do you, punks? The old lady's been watching too many Clint Eastwood movies again. I think what Miss Finster is trying to say is, every year we give all the fourth graders this little standardized test. You get a whole 45 minutes. It's not for a grade, so there's nothing to be afraid of. You're a wimp, you know that, Grotke? Ready? Begin. I can't get any of the answers. Forget about the answers. I can't get the questions. Well, Groot Key might as well take a load off. It's going to be one long 45 minutes. Latte? Uh, excuse me, Miss Grokey. I'm sorry, Gretchen. No questions allowed. But, Miss Grokey, I'm done. <laughs> but, Gretchen, it hasn't even been five minutes. <sighs> sorry. Man, what were they trying to do to us? First they make us read some dumb story, then they ask us the capital of Montana. If I ever get my hands on the guy who came up with that stupid test, I'll kick his butt all the way to... Helena. Huh? The capital of Montana. It's Helena. You knew that one? Of course you knew that one. Face it, guy. Scratchy knew every question on that test. Well, I don't know about every question, but I, I think I did quite well. Yeah, you probably did. Of course, that's what Stinky Peterson thought, too. Stinky Peterson? I didn't even consider that possibility. Hey, don't scare her, Teej. This is nothing like Stinky Peterson. Who's Stinky Peterson? Well, Stinky Peterson was this really smart kid just like Gretchen. He burned through his test so fast, everybody was sure that he aced it. But then two days later, something really weird happened. Right when Miss Grotke was about to call Stinky's name at roll call, Miss Lemon showed up. She took him to the principal's office, and they never saw Stinky Peterson again. Wow. Some kids say Stinky did so poorly at his test, they set up all the way back to, to kindergarten. Don't worry, Gretchen, that can never happen to you. You're way too smart. Sure, you ace that test, no problem. And even if you didn't, finger painting's fun and you get lots of naps. Ooh. Ralph Eggleston? Here. Carla Fong? Here. Gretchen Grun... Ah, Miss Lemon, come in. Prickly sent me down here to get your attendance sheet. And her! Come on, come on. I don't got all day. I suppose you know why I brought you here, Miss Grunder. It's because of the test, isn't it? Let me take it again. I promise I'll do better. Just please don't send me back to kindergarten. Please, please, please. Huh? What are you talking about? You're not going back to kindergarten. You mean, uh, I passed? Passed? You got a perfect score. Heck, we haven't seen scores like yours since Stinky Peterson. Oh. Well, that's different, then. Different? I'll say it's different. You're a genius, a prodigy. In fact, you're my prodigy, which means, Gretch, you're going to Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer Elementary for the incredibly, extremely gifted? That's right, and you're going to love it. You'll get tons of homework, really big books with teeny tiny print, and your very own lab rat. Oh, well, I'm flattered, Principal Prickly, but you see, that's really not possible. I, I can't leave my friends. Nonsense. You'll make new friends, and you'll like them a lot better, too. After all, they'll be eggheads like you. All you've got to do is pass the review board, and you're home free. It's no big deal, really. Rattle off some numbers, answer a few questions, and you're on your way to Oppenheimer. Now get out there and study, study, study. <laughs> One more student in Oppenheimer, and that middle school principal job is mine for sure. No! They can't do this to you. Yeah, tell your mom and dad. They'll get you out of it. Are you kidding? I called my mom as soon as I left the principal's office. She's been doing backflips ever since. There's got to be something we can do. Maybe if we... Look, I know what you're all going to say, and I want to thank you in advance, but if you'll excuse me, I think I just need some time alone. Goodbye, sweet set. Goodbye, graffiti. <coughs> Goodbye, reds and fish sticks. How will we see? <coughs> What are you 
buy Stoig here. We figured it out. We know how to keep it from going to the other school. Mikey's the one who really thought of it. It came to me like a bolt of lightning. Ready? What if you were dumb? I'm sorry, TJ, but for once, I'm really not following you. Okay, there's that panel review thing, right? That is what Principal Prickly said. Well, what if when you showed up, you didn't act like the smart kid you are, you acted like the regular dumb old kid you aren't? An interesting hypothesis, you guys, but I've been trying to dumb myself down ever since kindergarten, and it hasn't worked so far. But this time, you got experts on your side. Uh, what have I got to lose? How many miles to the sun? 92,900,000. Gretchen! Gretchen! What? That was right. Oops. What we're trying to do here is make Gretchen look like a regular dumb old kid. Any ideas, Ashley B? I don't know. What do you think, Ashley Q? Like, I don't know, Ashley B. Any ideas, Ashley G? I like, have an idea. It's not quite the look we're going for. Columbus's ships were... Bonita, Pinta, and Santa Maria. <sighs> Plants get energy by photosynthesis. Oh. What is the capital of Montana? Hell, New York City? What was that? New York City. Again, New York City. You know, I think she's got it. Here's my little genius now. Uh, what the? Gretchen? Yo, quickly. This is your Oppenheimer candidate? She doesn't usually dress this way. It's just for luck. Lucky <laughs> pants, lucky shirt, lucky hat, lucky... Silence, please. Yes, of course. You're absolutely right. No more talking. Are you ready, Miss Gondra? Whatever, dude. What is the Pythagorean serum? A racehorse. <clears throat> Who is the father of modern medicine? Dr. Seuss. When was the third ice age? Right after the first and second. <laughs> She's three for three. Who was the first person to reach the North Pole? Santa Claus. Who was the 14th president of the United States? Dennis Rodman. What's two plus two? 30. She's blowing it. Yes. Is this some kind of a joke? It's, it's not my fault. She must have cheated on that test. Shame on you, young lady. I'll see to her immediate suspension. I'll, I'll... Square the length of the hypotenuse of a right triangle equals the sum of the squared lengths of the other two sides. Dr. William Osser complies to see... Good sweet Mike, what's she doing? Don't you it's see? Right. She's answering all the questions. With incredible accuracy. In precise order. Robert Edward Perry, April 6, 1909. Franklin Pierce, 4. Why, she's brilliant. She's magnificent. She's doomed. My dear, why in heavens were you hiding your genius? Because I don't want to go to Oppenheimer. Don't make me. Please don't make me. Don't listen to her. She's a genius. Ship her out. Ship her out, I say. Principal Prickly, could you leave us alone for a minute? But, but now. What are you kids doing here? It's all settled. She's going to Oppenheimer? Nope, I'm staying right here at 3rd Street. Yay! She put forth her case most eloquently and finally persuaded us that there is more to education than what one learns from books. Well, what about my promotion? Uh, I mean, Gretchen's future. A mind is a terrible thing to waste. Which brings us to our next point. Have you considered starting a tutorial program at your school? You've got an excellent resource in Miss Grandler. Hmm, a tutorial program. That's exactly the kind of forward thinking that superintendent is always looking for in his middle school principals. Kids teaching kids. I love it. Well, that's not exactly what we had in mind. Thanks to the study buddy program, we're never going to have to worry about Gretchen leaving again. Heavy little chemicals with some very interesting properties. your best. That's all we could ask. Best. Yes. Yeah.